Let's say it together. Let's say. Because the great I am. The great I am provides for me. Say the great I am. The great I am provides for me. Come on, sing that one more time. Say, God, I have everything. I have everything I need. Oh, that sounds so good. Say, God, I have everything. I have everything. has given it to you. I have everything. I have everything I need. Say, because the great I am. The great I am provides for me. Say that one more time. The great. The great I am provides If you know his strength is made perfect in your weakness, say, God, you are my strength. We ever get weak sometimes, but God, you are. are my strength when I am. Heavy worshiper, come on, say, God, you're my strength. Praise the Lord. Blessings in the precious name of Jesus Christ to all the saints of God. My assignment today is to speak to you about courage. Let us bow our heads and pray briefly. Dear God Almighty, thank you for the opportunity to give words of enlightenment today. May they uplift all who hear them. In Jesus' name, amen. As I thought about what to talk about today, I won't be very long. Deuteronomy 31.6 came to my mind. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. The word strong, not easily affected or upset. Steady of character. It's not a physical strength that God speaks of here, but a spiritual one to be strong in him. The word good, Stable to a purpose, virtue, merit, worth. Is it edifying to you? Is it of any value? Is it edifying to God or is it cardinal? The word courage, the attitude of facing or dealing with anything we are confronted with that is difficult, painful, dangerous, or convinced in other words, to stand firm in our beliefs. Ask yourself, do your convictions line up with God's word or are they cardinal? Are they of self? Are you trying to edify you more so than God? Today is difficult for me to stand before you, not out of fear, because that's not the type of person I am. Second Timothy 1, 7 declares that God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I had Bell palsy when I was a child on my left side. And I was very young when that happened. And then I was injured later on on my job, which left my eyes severely damaged. I've had three surgeries on my eyes, and I just found out yesterday I have to have one more. Reading is very difficult for me to do. My eyes tire very easily and wonder and tear up. We were out of town for my son's installation to the pastorate in Wisconsin this weekend, and people kept looking at me. My water was just flowing from my eyes, and they thought I was upset or, or full of the spirit. No, it was just aggravation being in a different climate, and the spores and the pollen were just had my eyes inflamed. I woke up yesterday and my left, my right eye was totally red and swollen shut. But God, when I first went to the doctor, she was shocked that I was able to read it all. And a lot of times I open up noonday, sometimes as many as six Tuesdays in a row, and I have to read the announcement. And I would take my time because my eye would begin to wander. I'd have to blink it as many as 10, 15 times for it to focus back in. 
I started to back out of speaking today. And then I said, Lord, make a way for me to complete my assignment. It was just a quick, short prayer. And God spoke to me through his word. Acts 1 and 8 says, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. I heard God say, look to your side. And there was my magnifying glass. Even with my little readers on, I still needed my magnifying glass and I use it from time to time. And that helped me read, that helps me read my word and study my scriptures and put them in my heart that I may not sin against it. And with my readers, I came and pulled on the Holy Ghost, the source of our power. And it helped me do what I need to do. That is if we lend ourselves to it. Courage for me was not faith to give up. Not to say, I'll do this later, after I have the rest of my surgeries, after everything is complete. Courage to me, but to ask God for strength from God, to depend upon him, to have faith in him, to take courage in him, and in the fact that he will be with me. That is what he will do if we ask of him. Today, trust, lean, believe, hold on to his word, his perfect love that wraps us daily. That is what he has for us. He is our living Lord. He is our precious savior. He is our all in all, everything we need. We just need to realize that. And that sometimes is our problems. We depend upon ourselves too much and not depend upon our God. Let us bow our heads. Father God, he that supply for our daily needs if we ask and trust fully in your Lordship. Great God Almighty, we glorify you, you who created us all. We worship and praise the greatness that is yours alone. Let us not forget who you are, the one, the true, the only God. In your name, Lord Jesus. Amen.